Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is just a day in the life with Lou. I wanted to show you guys some daily activities that me and my best friend Louie the cattle dog um, do together. Um, so right now we're actually just in my backyard basically. So we're in the woods. Um, there's some trails around my property. I live on a big farm. Um, so we're just going down one of the forest trails. This is honestly like my favorite one because you just look around and the lighting is so pretty and it just looks like a little fairy forest. So I kind of wanted to show you guys more of this trail um, and just show you guys <laughs> what Lou does on a daily basis dig always digging um but yeah i also brought his ball his chuck it ball and the chuck it flinger along um honestly this works with recall for me a lot because louis loves running for his ball so if he sees me wave this um he he comes running right back um so that's what i've been using kind of to get him to um, pay attention to me when we're on walk sometimes and you know give him a little bit more fun throw the ball every once in a while so if you're new to our channel, we're usually making dog videos um, with Louie, um, anything from little tips and tricks for training to um, vlogs. I also post travel videos. So if you like all that, please subscribe to our channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below if you'd like to see more vlog type videos with Louie. All right, so we're just gonna continue walking and I'll show you guys the really pretty trail. Come on, Lou. Come on. Most of the time, we take that trail in the morning and we'll run it, me and Lou. But today, oh, it's really hot. <laughs> um, maybe a little too hot. Oh, Louie's just nibbling some weeds. Louie, come here. Go get it, there it is. Good boy, drop. Louie, come here. Where's your ball? Drop, good boy. All right. I wanted to use this opportunity to show you guys how we play fetch now because it's a little bit different. Um, I've changed a few things to our game of fetch, so I'd like to show you. Um, basically, I have been turning Lou around so he is at heel next to me and he can look up and see me and I do the look at me command. So basically, I say look at me, the dog looks up into my eyes and then I give him the command to go after the ball that I just threw. If you want to learn more about the look at me command, I have a video and I will put a card up here for you. I don't know if I explains it um, very clear, so let's show you. All right, let me drop. Good boy. So I essentially just spin him. Louie, come here. I spin him around. Sit. So he's right at heel with me. I'm holding the ball up here. Louie, look at me. Louie, stay. Louis, stay. Throwing the ball. Louis, look at me. Louis, look at me. Okay. Good boy. So essentially, I'm just training him to be at heel more and listen to me like that because I've honestly never trained him where he is at heel. And that is exactly where he is when he's on a leash in public. So I was thinking that would be a great way to basically just like form a habit of him being at heel and looking at me for the command. So yeah, I've been doing that every time we throw the ball. And I think it's going to help a lot with leash training. I think our Bubba is kind of tired from that walk. He loves just holding the ball and squeezing it. He'll lay around in the house and just squeeze it and squeeze it like that. <laughs> Do you love your ball, bub? 
Do you want to try it again? Lily, come here. Bring it back. Drop. Come here. Sit. Louie, stay. Stay. I let him watch the ball to see where it goes. Louie, look at me. Okay. Good boy. Also, I had a comment on one of my past videos, um, the way that Louie was like facing me and turning to then run for the ball, they were saying is actually really bad for your dog's hips. So I think this will also be really good for his hips um, so he's not turning like that repeatedly because we play fetch a lot. So a movement like that could really um, have some detrimental effects on his bones. All right, so it's really hot outside and he's panting. I can tell he's not really into fetch anymore. So we're gonna head inside. So right in this corner over here, I have a crate that I store all of Louis's stuff, including his food, his toys, long leash, you know, any type of toy that is annoying and I don't want him to play with all the time, like the squeaky ones. Um, so that's where his flinger goes. And we need some water, huh? Okay, I wanted to ask you guys something. Louis really doesn't drink a lot of water. Like he won't drink water from a stainless steel unless it's really fresh. I'm gonna fill it up all the way to the top. He likes it all the way to the top and it has to be just poured. Like I have to give him fresh water every single time he wants a drink or he just drinks out of the bathroom toilet. That's really the most of the time that's how he drinks. Um, but comment below if you have the same problem with your healer because he will not like if I leave the bowl of water out overnight He will not drink it the next day. It has to be like fresh every single time Which isn't a big deal to me, you know, I do it, but it's just weird like I've seen other dogs They'll drink anything comment below if your healer does the same thing actually just me and my best bud today Nick is at work. I just have some house cleaning to do Louie just follows me around um, like kind of gets in my way, but it's fun. At least I have someone to hang out with me while I clean. Hey buddy, how did you like our walk and our game of fetch? I think that he gets more tired out when he goes on walks because he gets to like roam all around and he's smelling and I feel like it's a lot more uh, mental stimulation as well as physical stimulation so when we get back from a walk or a run Louis is like done for like he's gonna be panting for a while now I'm gonna put the AC on for him because it is really hot outside um, be careful with your pets when you're exercising them outside in this heat yeah fetch is always a great game too because it does it does stimulate their mind and it is kind of like a little training sesh the way that I did it today with turning him around um, and making him stay and look at me. If you do any of those things with your dog, comment below. I'd really like to know. Yeah, so basically that's a little afternoon with my cattle dog. If you liked this video, <laughs> I'm making him too high. He's like, get away from me. If you liked this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. Please comment below any videos you'd like to see from this channel. And if you've watched the whole entire video until this point, then I really want to invite you to subscribe to our new channel. So Nick and I, my boyfriend, have made a van life YouTube. It's called Burton Off Grid. I will leave it below. And basically on that channel, we are going to be posting all van life stuff. So any travel videos, any camper van videos, um, basically any like off grid type of things, we are going to be posting on that channel. 
I've just realized nobody wants to watch those on this channel. Um, this is more of Lou's channel. If you're here for Lou, thank you so much. Thanks for supporting us. But I do want to have another outlet where we can express our travel side, our adventurous side. So go subscribe to Burton Off Grid. If you like watching Lou, subscribe to this channel. And I'm gonna try and post more videos on Liz and Lou. I have been slacking again, um, but I'm really gonna start trying for you guys as well as posting on our van life vlog YouTube. Aww, he's panting so heavily. If you like me and Lou, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.